Anyway, it's great to have you back. Um, for, what was I gonna, got a couple of crew sound bites I want to get into here. Um, and another point that I want to emphasize, at least sound bites will help me transition to it. This is Cruz in New Hampshire uh, talking about Ronald Reagan. I think this is huge. I think the outcome last night in Iowa and who won and how and what it all means is really important to note. First of two sound bites from Ted Cruz. Uh, already back in New Hampshire on the campaign trail for the primary there one week from today. When was the last time we broke the Washington cartel? 1980. 36 years ago, and I'll tell you, the Granite State played a critical role in making that happen. You know, back in 1980, all the media said, this guy Reagan, he's a crazy right-wing kook, he's too extreme, and by the way, he's really down in the polls. That's what the media said over and over again. Yeah, they did. That was Reagan. For people experienced that Reagan was uh, a two landslide victory president, and the the memories of Reagan were of, are of, of a dominant and adored, respected president. But in the campaign of 1976 and campaign of 1980, uh, it it was down and dirty, and the Republican establishment was anti Reagan at every turn, and the media was. And Reagan was every bit as despised by the media as George W. Bush has been despised by the media, albeit for different reasons. But the point is, it wasn't a cakewalk. Even though Reagan captivated a majority of the American people, he was loved and adored, supported, landslide wins. It did not convert the media. It did not change the way the media reported. In fact, it angered them even more that they had been rebuffed by the voters. They were brutal times, just like the period with, uh, with George W. Bush as well. Here's more from Cruz. But you know what? Live what? free or die state. Took a look at Reagan and said, that guy believes what he's saying. He's not reading from talking points. He doesn't have a consultant who said, OK, go pretend you're for this. He's speaking from the heart. He means what he says. He tells the truth and he's going to do exactly what he says. And the Granite State shocked this country by giving Reagan the victory. And it literally, the men and women of New Hampshire, changed the course of history of America and of the world. And clearly, Cruz is attempting to claim the mantle of Reagan in New Hampshire. Now, here's the thing about it. If you look at what happened in, in, in Iowa... There was new voter registration in Iowa. There was a record Republican turnout in Iowa. And it was of the Republican base. It was conservatives who made up the new turnout. It was conservatives who created that record voter turnout and voter registration in, in New Hampshire. It's the Republican base that is growing. And nobody is going to talk to you about that today. Nobody is going to acknowledge that today. They're going to diminish Cruz's win as at the hands of a bunch of crazy Christians. And it's no surprise it's Iowa. I mean, look at who Iowa selected the last time, Santorum, and before him, Reverend Huckabee, or what have you. So they're going to do their best to diminish what Cruz did because it's just, you know, it was, it was the pro-lifers. Uh, but that's Iowa, and now New Hampshire. We're moving on into libertarian territory, they'll say. And that's a one-off. But it's not. Again, three of the top four finishers genuinely be said to be descendants of Rinaldus Magnus, Cruz, Rubio, and I'm going to throw Dr. Carson in there. Dr. Carson exemplifies the conservatism, Reagan, and it's and it, while the, well, the Republican Party is doing its best still to convince everybody to get rid of this Reagan fetish is the latest terminology having replaced the era of Reagan is over. But the Republican base is growing. It is a conservative base. It is growing because the establishment insider elites of the Republican Party are not doing their job. That's why this growth is taking place. And it, you know, for, for all of the size of relief that there no doubt were in the 70s 
sanctity of the sectors of the establishment last night. There were as many gulps because Ted Cruz was the winner.